I'm Jody Whitesides, and this is another Inside the Recording Studio Tuesday Tip. Today, I'm going to be talking about bass DI recording, and I'm going to give you two different methods to do it, starting with my bass right here. Method number one, I'm going to be taking a quarter-inch cable and going direct from the bass into my audio interface. My second method is going to be coming out quarter-inch cable to a DI box into an XLR cable going to my audio input source. Here we have a DAW session open. I have a four bar drum loop and two bass tracks. One bass track is going to be for the quarter inch input from the bass to the audio interface. The second one is going to be for the bass going to the DI, DI going to the audio interface. Let's plug in. You can see I got audio input. And if I play a little bit, You'll see that the bass is peaking right around minus 18, which is important for reamping purposes. Let's play it. Let's now go bass to the DI, DI to the audio input source. I've got signal. Let's play for a moment to make sure the level's good. All right, peaking again around minus 18, again for reamping purposes. Here we go. All right, let's listen back. Here we go with the bass coming from the DI. Let's now listen to the bass direct from the bass guitar into the audio interface. They get us a very similar sound and they both work extremely well for reamping purposes. And there's your Tuesday tip for bass DI recording practices. See you in the next one.